Hi, I'm Dr. Luigi Groton, Vice President of Nutrition Education. Welcome back to the Herbalife Nutrition Education Program. Today we'll focus our discussion on carbohydrates. In this lesson, you will learn what carbohydrates are and that all carbohydrates are not created equal. Sweet carbohydrates like table sugar have never before been in human diets in the amounts found today. Carbohydrates are nature's quickest source of energy, but too many sweet carbohydrates, like those in ice cream, candy, cakes, and pastries, may lead to weight gain. The key is to choose the right carbohydrates, which are rich in fiber and more filling. You might need a fiber supplement if you don't get enough fiber from fruits, vegetables, and whole grains in your diet. Let's get started with the first lesson. Welcome back to the Herbalife Nutrition Education Program. In this lesson, we'll be discussing carbohydrates. Let's get started. All the organs of your body are made up of cells. To be effective, nutrition must get to all of the cells of your body. Cellular nutrition provides all the cells of your body with the nutrition you need every day. When we think of health and nutrition, only a few of us think of the cell, but actually, the cell is the source of the body's energy supply. It's what keeps you not only functioning in optimal health, but functioning at all. Cellular nutrition means that our bodies are nourished at the most basic level, the cells, the tiniest living units in the body. This allows the cells to grow, repair, and perform their functions with the best possible efficiency so that we feel and look better and are better able to prevent and fight disease. Now, we already know that carbohydrates are also a major nutrient category. In fact, carbohydrates are the main source of energy for your body. They come from a variety of foods, including fruits, vegetables, and grains. You must eat the right amount of carbohydrates daily to provide your body with energy in the form of glucose in the blood. We mentioned that carbohydrates are the key source of energy for your body and power everything you do. This is especially important during exercise when carbs also give you quick energy as your body demands it and keep your muscle cells functioning at their best during whatever activity you're doing. In fact, elite athletes know all about fueling and maintaining their performance by keeping up carbohydrate intake before, during, and after exercise. They make sure to have a high carbohydrate meal before exercising, then take in small amounts during exercise, often in the form of a sports drink. Then, after exercise, they consume carbohydrates to replenish the body's energy stores. Carbohydrates can be found in plant-based foods such as starches, sugar, and fiber. These are found in many foods, both natural and processed. No matter what carbohydrate you consume, your body breaks it down into simple sugars that are used for energy. The body breaks down most carbohydrates into single sugar molecules, such as glucose and other simple sugars which are small enough to cross into the bloodstream. Fiber is a carbohydrate that the body cannot break down, but it is important for digestive health. The body digests most carbohydrates, resulting in a rise in blood sugar, because cells are designed to use this as a universal energy source. It makes sense that we crave sugars, they taste sweet and make us feel good. Eating sweets can reduce stress by increasing a sense of pleasure. And it is hard to stop eating them because they activate the pleasure centers in the brain. Did you know that sugar might be addictive? Scientists have conducted studies showing that rats can become addicted to sugar. In fact, 
Some people feel as though they're addicted to sweets. This addiction in recent years seems to be on the rise. Because sweets create a sense of pleasure and reduce stress, it's easy to overindulge. When you are stressed or depressed, it's common to eat more sweets to feel better. But this overconsumption has an unintended result, possible weight gain. This is not only because excess carbs turn into sugar, but because sweets and desserts usually contain fats that we aren't thinking about. So, it's best to find another way to deal with emotional lows rather than turning to sweets. Did you know? Table sugar comes from sugarcane and became a large part of the human diet only after sugar plantations developed around the year 1600. Unfortunately, though, sugar seems to be in just about every processed food available in one way or another. Some sugars are found naturally in foods. Fructose, lactose, and glucose are found in fruits, vegetables, and milk. Eating sugars found naturally in foods is by far the best way to consume sugars. Natural sugars are not the same as table sugar, corn syrup, or other sweeteners that are used to increase the sweetness of foods while adding extra calories. Did you know that white potatoes can raise blood sugar as fast as a cola drink? You might want to think twice before eating that baked potato. In the last few years, people are starting to substitute sweet potatoes for white potatoes because they are lower on the glycemic index, meaning they tend to cause less of a rise in blood sugar after you eat them, so they're a healthier choice. Though an unlikely source of sugar, high fructose corn syrup is one of the most popular sweeteners nowadays. High fructose corn syrup is a corn-based sweetener that started being added to foods in the late 1960s and early 1970s. It became popular when some soda companies adopted the ingredient for their carbonated beverages in the 1980s. Beverages account for the highest percentage of high fructose corn syrup used annually. But it's not just soft drinks. Juice drinks with added sugar, sweetened tea, and many other sweetened beverages contain high levels of high fructose corn syrup as well. It's also frequently seen in highly processed foods such as ketchup, bread, waffles, and many others. It could be coincidence, but from the time high fructose corn syrup became popular in the 1980s, obesity started increasing in the United States and around the world. This sweetener has not only been associated with obesity, but also with an increase in the risk for obesity-associated conditions. But in recent years, as the public has become more aware of its dangers, the demand for high fructose corn syrup has fallen. The healthiest way to satisfy your hunger and get a sense of being full is to choose natural carbohydrates, fruits, vegetables, and grains. They also happen to be rich in fiber, and many people on a Western diet do not get enough fiber, so this is an added benefit. As we know, many foods that have carbohydrates also provide much needed fiber. Fiber is important in slowing the absorption of sugars from the intestines. If you slow your sugar absorption, you won't be overloaded by a spike in sugar. Fiber tends to fill you up, which helps control hunger, keeps you feeling fuller, and might stop you from overeating. Fiber also helps make your digestion smoother and more efficient and helps you eliminate waste while preventing constipation. Most adults need about 25 grams of fiber each day. As healthy as you might eat or think you might eat, it can be difficult to get all the fiber you need each day, especially if you have a hectic lifestyle 
and find yourself eating on the go, eating fast foods, or skipping meals. Try to include a fiber supplement to ensure you're getting enough. So what have we learned? Carbohydrates are an important part of the diet. They fuel the body and everything it does. Carbohydrates are nature's quickest source of energy. Too many sweet carbohydrates may lead to weight gain. Yet, it's very easy to become addicted to sugar and sweets because they activate pleasure centers in the brain. Also, many sweetened foods contain added fats. We also learned about how important fiber is and that fiber is found in carbohydrate foods, satisfies our sense of hunger, and keeps us from overeating. You need about 25 grams of fiber each day, but getting this amount daily can be difficult if you have a hectic lifestyle. You might need a fiber supplement if you don't get enough from your diet. Good work! You've completed another lesson in the Herbalife Nutrition Education Program. In the next lesson, we'll learn about good carbohydrates. See you at the next meeting.